Good afternoon and welcome to Investor Schooling Live. Coming to you from Investor Schooling Headquarters. I'm Phil Falcone here with my business partner, Larry Steinhaus. We are the founders of Investor Schooling. Get ready to learn real estate and stock option investing. Call us with your questions now at 855-939-1137. 855-939-1137. That's right. We're a live program. And uh, you can call us anytime during the show. We will take your calls. We uh, we much rather talk to our callers than to each other. Well, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. So Investor Schooling is located in Langhorne, Pennsylvania, serving the Philadelphia area in a real brick-and-mortar building. That's correct. We are local Philadelphia guys accessible to our students a minimum of two nights per week. If you want to learn this business, that's the business of real estate investing and stock option investing, you want to learn it from people who live it every day. Larry, what's happening? What's going on, Mr. Phil? I'm so excited. <clears throat> About when what? It, just the, the end of the year is coming, and um, you know, there's a possibility that maybe we'll be living in freedom in 2021. What do you think? You think we'll be living in freedom in 2021? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? With... Uh, with Governor Wolfie and his uh, transvestite girlfriend, I don't know. <laughs> Did you really say that on the air? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it was it was fun, folks. We're really glad that we had a good time for this show for the last couple of years. Obviously, this will be the last one because, you know, I'm sure he'll come after us and, and, and shut us down. We've said a lot worse things about him on this show. <laughs> I know. But and he hasn't <laughs> kicked us off yet. But that's the one that, that was the most politically incorrect one. You think so? I don't know. I, I think it's know, fine. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, so I don't know. I'm pretty excited. What'd you get for Christmas? Anything good? Uh, I got some uh, Tommy John underwear. You got some Tommy John underwear. Have you ever tried that stuff? I have not. I've I'm heard good things about it though. I'm telling you, you put that underwear on, and you just feel like a better man. So wait, is it is it is it as good as not wearing underwear? It's uh, it's extremely comfortable underwear that you don't get a wedgie on, and it feels great. And uh, when I first bought them, I forget what they cost, like 35 bucks a pair or something. And Terry was screaming at me, like, you don't buy 35 bucks a pair. Are you crazy? So well, How much are our bra? Her bras are got to be more than that. Yeah, sure. Women's underwear is, like, super expensive. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right? So uh, when, when it came around, she said, what do you want for Christmas? I said, I want some Tommy John underwear. I made her buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my wife a can opener. You did? Oh, yeah. you're very romantic. I know. It was, it was just like, it was a can opener. I you know, couldn't resist. I thought, you know, she could use a can opener, so she got a can opener. She actually liked it, though, too. Hmm. Years ago, I got Terry a stun gun for Christmas. A stun gun? Right. Now, tell and, me about uh, that. And she said, I'm going to use it on you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this, is this, where did you buy the stun gun, though? Did you buy the stun gun in a regular stun gun store, or was uh, it... Or was it know, a special think, store that, that, you know, never mind. I think I bought it at a, at a flea market. Okay. You know, it was All a long right. time ago. All right. And, uh, you know, I was probably still in my 20s, and I and I thought it would be nice for a woman to have something to protect herself with. I've always been a gun guy, right? Right. So um, I'm always walking around packing and, and ready to go, and I just wanted to see my girl have something to protect herself with, but... When I gave it to her, she was all upset, and then you know, practically tried to zap me with it. So that's funny. I would have loved to see that, but yeah. but I but I know she got it. She's uh, actually carrying now, isn't she? Yes, now she is. Yeah, but uh, it only took like uh, thirty years. So I think it's pretty exciting that you know we are Second Amendment warriors. Yeah, I mean, I hope uh, one of us doesn't accidentally shoot the other one with all these <laughs> guns around it. <laughs> well, I don't think we're gonna act. I, I think it's very hard to accidentally shoot someone. You know, th there's that uh, there's that misnomer about you know dropping the gun and the gun going off. It's impossible. It's actually impossible to drop a gun and have it go off. If you say so. You don't think so? That depends on a lot of things. Well, if the if the if, if it's a six shooter and the and the uh, and the um, uh, the hammer is cocked, that's different. But a typical nine millimeter, it can't drop. It can't. You can't drop. No, the but gun nobody has a, a six shooter. Anyway. No, I understand. I understand. All right. Anyway. We won't argue about guns because we're not here to talk about guns. We're here to talk about real estate and stock options and money and making money. And well, why, why don't we get right into it? What an awesome year. Hasn't it been an awesome year? It's been a great year, yeah. Yeah. It, it, the, the beginning of the year started out a little rough for me. But, a little uh, scary. Yeah, but then um, 
you know, when the stock market got destroyed in March, we all made a bunch of money yeah. uh, riding it from the gutter all the way back up yep. and uh, have done that theoretically many times throughout the rest of the year. Yeah, it's been, it's been a nice year, actually, all yeah. around been a nice year. From SBA loans to the – we, you know, we now have uh, over 200 students. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, and uh, you uh, – you had your most profitable day yeah. in uh, in the year 2020. I had yeah. my most profitable real estate deal in 2020. Yeah, it's pretty so cool. It's so funny we got, how things work out, isn't so it? So we got four more days to the end of the year. You want to top it? It's possible. Something uh, could happen. Uh, you never know. Yeah, you never know. The stock market could you know could r- rally on the next couple of days. We could have a Santa Claus rally that makes us really rich. <laughs> It'd be nice if it happened. <laughs> Definitely. All right, what do we got to talk about, Bill? All right, so can you buy multiple homes in the same day? That's one of our questions. The deal of a decade comes along often. We could talk about that. It's tempting for me to say never sell investment homes. That's something we could talk about. Okay. The less you put up, meaning how much money you put up on a house, the less you put up, the smaller the risk is for you. Hmm. Interesting. That is interesting. Is this a good time to invest in stock options? And then we're going to finish our show strong, as we always do, with our stock option picks of the week. So if you just listen to the show at the end, we're going to tell you what we're going to be investing in tomorrow morning. Yeah, I actually got something. We'll talk about it then, but I got something that I'm going to say jump all over. Right, great. I'd like to hear about that. We also got a couple of questions that were emailed in. One, One person wrote, what is the fastest way to get rich? And uh, another guy wrote, how quickly can a newbie quit their job and earn a living? Yeah, that's a, that, we get that question a lot, actually, when they come here. Yeah, they, so they, they come here and they, they, they want to quit their job in two weeks. So uh, if you want to answer that one, go for you it. Know, why, don't we, why don't we talk about that? Go ahead, that's go always, right into that's it. always one of those questions that, that comes up a lot. I mean, people co- the students come in and they're like, yeah. hey, you know, uh, when am I going to make my money back? Or, you know, for the price of school? Or, or, or how, how quickly can I make money? Or how quickly can I quit my job? Well... The, the reality is it depends on how much money you're making, of course, but you could quit your job tomorrow. You just have to figure out what your income is going to be. If you want to replace the income that you're at, I mean, it depends on you. It never, It's never us. It depends on you. Like we had uh, Andrew, who was the, the Amazon driver. That was an awesome one. So this is a great story. A- Andrew, I, I, I get a lot of packages from Amazon because we were, we were, we were creating the new, uh, the new Zoom system where we do all our classes online, also in person and online, but online, we do it like a television production. So I was ordering all kinds of video equipment and video cables and, and uh, video parts. And every day, Andrew, this guy, the driver, the Amazon driver, would show up and he'd drop off packages. Because he, he, one day he goes to me and goes, why do you guys get so many packages? And I explained to him, he goes, what do you guys do here? And I said, hey, look, we, we teach people how to invest in real estate, how to invest in the stock market. And he says, really, how can I get involved? And sure enough, you know, I said, come on a Thursday night. By the way, you're welcome to come. Not this Thursday night. The seventh will be the next one. Not this Thursday night. The seventh will be the next one. I, we, we tell him to come. He shows up. He becomes a student. And he was a driver for Amazon. And honestly, what did he do? Quit his job in a month? He quit his job really quick. Yeah. I don't know if it was a month, but it was. It, look, he's only been at the school like two, months, two and maybe? a half yeah, months, like maybe. Right, sure. And yeah. uh, he already has done. Just got his first real estate deal on the right, and he's, and he's looking at. He's like, I tell you what, he's the kind of guy who's shooting for the stars. Yeah, he's like twenty or yeah. something, isn't he? And he's shooting for the stars. He's just like he's looking at. He's looking at seven hundred thousand dollars properties. He's figuring out how to buy them. So, for those of you who are out there who want to be real estate investors, want to be stock option investors, and think that oh, it's not going to happen for you, I mean, we made it happen for a kid who's an Amazon driver <laughs> quit his job. And he's 21 years old or 20 years old. I'm not really sure. Yeah, whatever it is. It's amazing. Yeah. We, we have no energy today, Phil. We need to get some energy. So, yeehaw! Woo-hoo! All right, that's better. We just sound, we sound like it must, be, it must have been a long weekend for us. You know, the Christmas weekend for us. Anyway. Okay, you want to tackle another one of these questions? Sure, what do you got? Which one do you like? Anyone in particular? Do you think I remember what you said? What is the fastest way to get rich? The fastest way to get rich? Yeah, marry a rich lady. Well, actually, that's a funny story because I have a friend of mine who actually says that you can, you can multiply your your net worth by five or ten times in five seconds by getting married. Yeah, that's that. Uh, 
that's not a bad <laughs> way to get rich. And then, of course, the second way is to hit the lottery. Yeah, that I don't really buy lottery tickets. But. And then, of course, the third way is to rob a bank if well, you don't get caught. That is where they keep the money. So those are the, th- the three fastest ways to get rich. Hmm. If you'd like to get rich, no, not necessarily overnight, and like to make some money and like to change your lifestyle, you can come to Investor Schooling, and you can get a free class, and we can teach you how to make money in real estate, how to make money in the stock market, and how to have a better life with money. Right? Yeah, I think the fastest way to get rich is, besides those uh, getting married to a rich lady, which is very quick, uh, is buy a bunch of real estate. Absolutely. Buy a couple houses a year, buy a house a year, buy 10 houses a year, whatever you're capable of doing. It's one of the easiest ways to become a millionaire. And it's and I mean it really easy way to become a millionaire. All you have to do is buy a bunch of houses, call it five, 10 houses, whatever, and they don't even have to be really expensive houses, just regular houses. And in a couple of years, you'll be worth a million bucks probably. Yeah, I track it. I, I track it. So this year I actually was tracking. It was interesting. I was tracking how much – how much. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Equity how much you I, have? Not equity. How much principal pay down I changed. So I track that too. So the equity the – equity, I didn't even talk about the equity. The equity went up a lot obviously mm-hmm. because the buildings went up in value, but I didn't even talk about that. So I, I was – the last – and I haven't – figured it all out, but I was up to about $145,000 of principal pay down so far for 2020, for 2020, and I haven't put it all in yet. So that's like $120,000 in my pocket that somebody else paid for, that renters paid for. You have a chart I use. It's, uh, it's an Excel chart with mathematical formulas built into it, and I call it the equity tracking chart, but what it also tracks, it, it, so it keeps track of the values of my homes, it keeps track of the equity that I'm accruing in those homes, the principal pay down, the cash flow. And uh, it's just a nice thing to look at from time to time. Uh, you have to kind of keep up on it because it doesn't automatically do all these things. I got to sure. look at it every once in a while. I'm the one that puts in what I think the value of the properties are. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great little way just to see a snapshot of your wealth. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think I actually was slow this year. I think I increased my net worth by about a half a million this year. Was about all it was this year, which isn't that bad. But well, what's the matter? Did you get COVID or something? Why, why, why'd you only make half a million? <laughs> no, I increased my net worth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I <laughs> yeah, usually, usually I try to shoot for a little bit more than that, but a half million isn't so bad either. <laughs> but I also increased my so my credit card availability is also. I keep bumping the wall. I can't hit that seven hundred thousand. It's driving me crazy. Ah, you poor baby. So, yeah, so for you guys out there, you guys think I'm nuts, but I have almost $700,000 available to me on credit cards. In fact, I got to tell you what happened. I I applied for an eBay credit card the other day just because I'm like, all right, maybe I'll get $10,000 here. It was the first time in in years that they actually issued me a card for less than $1,000. I thought it was hysterical because I have so many cards. They're like, no, no, no. And it was uh, Synchrony Bank and Synchrony Bank. I have so many cards with Synchrony Bank, I think they're like, oh, we might get a little nervous with this guy now. But I have no balances on him. It's just fun, it's just fun to collect them. Yeah, it's a good game. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at 400 grand right now. Yeah, that's awesome, right? right. Yeah. So I just got, uh, what did I get, 12500 off of a card from uh, Citizens Bank yeah. I, with, with cash back. Uh, got numerous ones that are at 0%, so... I could buy whatever the heck I want right. at zero percent for a year, and then just whatever, get another card and do it again. I, I yeah, it's funny. I, I like sometimes I like look and I go, oh wow, I forgot if I had this card even. But well, just it's just another tool. It's just yep, another exactly. tool to use. If, if people say to me, what are you going to do with all those credit cards? Why do you need four hundred thousand dollars? Well, first of all, you know, suppose I'm about to buy the greatest mobile home park deal I've ever seen in my life, and I'm one hundred fifty grand short. Do you think I would hesitate for one second to put 150 grand on some credit cards of if this is the greatest yeah. deal that yeah. I've ever seen? I, I'll yeah. do it in a heartbeat. If that, now, obviously, I have other ways to get money. All right, I have my own money. I have private money. I have banks. I have hard money lenders. There's all kinds of people that mm-hmm. we can get money from. We have people in the school who lend money to to real estate investors like uh, myself and Larry and the students. So money is abundant, especially if your deal is a good deal. Yep. But uh, so finding money is not really something we worry about. It's just another tool. That's all. Yeah, it's just exactly. another tool. Yeah, and, and, and it's funny. Once you start realizing that money comes in abundance and it's so easy to get, 
you'll have all the money you ever need for everything you always wanted. Especially if you go to a place like Investor Schooling and you learn what it is that private investors are looking for mm -hmm. in a real estate person. They want to see somebody who's dedicated to the business. They want to see somebody who's well-educated, who has all the contracts, who knows what they're doing. And when they meet somebody like that, it's almost a slam dunk. Right. And how to approach the person, too, because, you know, like we have a lot of students who come to us like, you know, I, I know my, my, my uncle has money, but how do I ask him for it? And we teach you how to do that, too, because, look, you know, it could be uncomfortable. Or my friend has money or whatever. I mean, I actually had one where a student came to us, and he wanted me to explain it to the person he was borrowing $30,000 from. So he, we basically put him in a conference room. I got on, I got on the speakerphone with the person he was going to borrow the $30,000 from, and I started to explain it to her. And as I started to explain it to her, she revealed that she had another $250,000 available. And, and uh, I told her how that worked, and she said, I'm going to lend it to him also. So he, let, he, so he ended up buying 12 properties with $250,000 off, of off of one private lender. I remember that deal. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. So by the way, if you want to call in with any questions, 855-939-1137, 855-939-1137. If you'd like to sign up for a complimentary class, go to investorschooling.com, investorschooling.com. You want to go to a uh, commercial, Phil, and, and uh, see what comes up after that? Sure. All right, let's do it. Hi, I'm Phil Falcone from InvestorSchooling.com. I'm inviting you to a complimentary class in Langhorn this Thursday night at 7 p.m. I will teach you how to buy ugly houses and make them beautiful. As a bonus, we will also teach you stock option investing. So get your butt to this meeting, 7 p.m. this Thursday night, Langhorn, 215-876-3002, InvestorSchooling.com. Hey, everybody. It's Larry Sinus from InvestorSchooling.com. You heard my partner, Phil Falcone, tell you why you should be there this Thursday night to learn about real estate investing and learn about stock options trading. We're telling you right now, you will make more money than you've ever made in your entire life if you learn these two skills. Be there this Thursday night at 7 o'clock in our Langhorn headquarters. Go to InvestorSchooling.com. Pull over right now. Take out your phone and go to InvestorSchooling.com. RSVP right now. InvestorSchooling.com. See you Thursday. I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. I got a question for you. What do you get for $4.95 a month at Executech Suites? You get an office big enough for one person. You get the furniture in that office. You get the telephone on the desk. You get the telephone number. You get the fax number. You get the internet. You get two full-time receptionists to answer the phone in the name of your company and patch the calls to you, whether you're in the office, in your car, or at home sleeping on a couch. You get the conference rooms. You get the mailboxes. You get the printer, the copy, the scanner. You get the janitorial service, the utilities, and free coffee. I know it's hard to believe that you could get all those things for $495 a month. But it's true. 67 Buck Road in Huntington Valley, Executech Suites. Give us a call, 215-942-7701, 215-942-7701. Hey, everybody, it's Larry Sinus from InvestorSchooling.com. And I'm Phil Falcone from InvestorSchooling.com. Hey, what are we going to teach him this Thursday night, Phil? We're going to teach you how to invest in real estate so you can build a basis to get rich. And I promise I'm going to teach you stock options. So go to InvestorSchooling.com and RSVP right now. Right, Phil? We've been in this business for 30 years. We have amazing amounts of information to share with you. Get your butt to this meeting this Thursday night in Langhorn. InvestorSchooling.com. All right, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Investor Schooling Live. I'm Larry Steinhaus, and I'm here with my business partner, Phil Falcone. I, I, I still can't say it the way you say it. It doesn't matter. All right, it doesn't matter. It's fine. There's a lot of things I can do that you can't do. That's very true, like play tennis. So one of our questions was, can you buy multiple homes in the same day? Well, before you do that, I want to give out the phone number one more time. Well, go ahead. Because I interrupted myself. You don't need permission to give out the phone number. 855-939-1137. Well, if you're listening on Facebook or if you're listening on the radio, pick, take up your phone, 855-939-1137. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear what you're doing in real estate, what you're doing in the stock market. We'd love to hear from you what you're doing with money. Anything you want to know about any of those topics, we're here right now, 855-939-1137. Go ahead, Phil. What was, your, what was the next topic? What, you forgot it already? Yes. Can you buy multiple mm. homes in the same day? Can you buy multiple homes in the same day? Well, uh, what kind of silly question is that? 
Just answer the damn question. Yes. Have you ever done it? I've actually uh, bought and sold a dozen in the same day. Like, literally bought and sold the same dozen homes in one day. Yeah, that makes sense. It was kind of a neat day, actually. It's a good day. But yeah, I made a lot of money that day. I think I made like 140, 150,000 in that day. Yeah, not a bad day. Yeah, it was nice. That's called wholesaling, in case yeah, I know. you <laughs> out there don't understand. <laughs> uh, I've, uh, I've bought multiple houses, like, in over a course of two days. I've, I think I've... I once bought two houses in one day, but it was a little while ago. I'm not positive, you know. But the point is, you can do anything you want, especially if you have a, uh, you have the deals locked up, you have them under contract, you have a title company that's available to uh, facilitate the deals, and all the work that leads up to a settlement is taken care of. Then yes, you could buy fifty houses in a day if you had the money, if you had the contracts. If you had people who had uh, all their ducks in a row, yes, it wouldn't be a problem. So, you know, Phil, there's two, ty- there's two kinds of skeptics out there. And I, I want to bring this up because I'm listening to you and everybody's out there going, and there must be somebody listening going, hey, that's impossible. How could he have bought and sold 12 houses in one day? Look, here's the deal. The deal is there's two kinds of skeptics. One says that you don't believe we can do it. I actually believe you believe we can do it. And believe me, we've done it. And I can prove it to you anytime. You want to you pull out records? I'll pull out records. But here's the other thing. The second kind of skeptic believes that we can do it, but doesn't believe you can do it. Trust me, Phil and I are not the brightest bulbs in the block. If we can do it, you can do it. And I guarantee you there's a lot dumber people making a lot more money than you with real estate and stock options. And I promise you that you could do this too. So show up. Go to investorschooling.com. Show up. RSVP. Be there. January 7th is the next class, and you will definitely learn how to do this. You know, uh, I often say that I'm very lucky to have fallen into the business that I am in, the business of real estate investing, because it's a great business. It's an amazing business. And even if you're mediocre at this, even if you're lousy at it, you're still going to make a lot of money. That's right. Because it's almost impossible not to become wealthy. It's almost impossible not to become a millionaire. If you continue to do it for a couple of years, even if you're lousy at it. Right, exactly. And we won't let you be lousy at that's, it. That's where I was going to go right? next. Yep. Okay, so you got to come to Investor Schooling. Our next class mm-hmm. is when? January what? January 7th. January 7th. Right. 7 p.m. Investorschooling.com. You can get the address and everything there. Right, and, and, and here's the deal. So, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can, you can be nervous about. Like, how do I talk to a seller? We're going to teach you how to do that. How do I... How do I uh, come up with the comps? We're going to teach you how to do that. How do I price out the property? We're going to teach you how to do that. How do I price out the repairs? We're going to teach you how to do that. So all of these things that we're going to teach you how to do, and we're going to teach you step by step. And, you know, I I realize that we have students that come here, and they want to learn it all in 24 hours. How about that, Phil? It it happens a lot. People are like, it's amazing. hey, I'm sitting in an advanced stock option class, and uh, and I don't understand everything you're talking about. (laughs) Yeah, right, exactly, right, right. And what, yeah. what, what you got to understand about our school is um, we, when you come here for the first time, you're going to sit in a live class with real students. We don't have sales pitches. We don't do a sales presentation for you when you come in. We put you right in a class with our other students, and we just keep teaching. So every Thursday night we teach for a couple of hours, and every Monday night we do something else called a mastermind where we talk for three hours about various different um, stock option and real estate items that come up, give you some individualized attention. Exactly. It's it's an amazing curriculum, and until you come here and see it, you're just not going to understand it. So get your butt to Investor Schooling, 7 p.m., January 4th? 7th. 7th. All right. (laughs) And you get – what'd you forget? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you can call us right now, 855-939-1137, 855-939-1137. Uh, if you get a bu- busy single, just call back because every once in a while that happens. So 855-939-1137. You can ask us about real estate, investing, stock options trading, or anything else you want to know about money. So what else, Phil? Well, the, the next, next topic? topic is the deal of a decade comes along often. Now, I can assure you that I have done at least – three deals that I call the deal of the decade. And I'm not saying that just because I've been in the business for 32 years. You could have two deals of a decade in your first year. It wouldn't matter. I mean, we're just it's just something that we say. And um, 
real estate, if you're out looking for real estate deals all the time, sometimes you're going to find a deal where you're only going to make a couple grand off of it. Most of the time, you're going to make ten to fifteen thousand dollars. Often, you're going to hit something like twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars. But when you hit one that has like, let's say over fifty thousand dollars, okay. Uh, when you hit one like that, you begin to realize that these things are out there, and as long as you keep waking up every morning looking for them, the world is your oyster. Oysters. Yes. You talking about oysters in front of me again? Why you allergic to oysters? No, I. They're supposed to be aphrodisiacs, and you know you keep talking about me being your partner. I'm worried about you. <laughs> All right. So, what do you think <laughs> about the deal of a decade? How many have you found? The deal of a decade? Yeah. I, I don't know. So many. I, I mean, I just closed on two that were amazing. I mean, you know, in December I closed on two deals that were just amazing. One yeah, they was, were good uh, deals. Yeah. I, I mean, don't know if I'd call them deals of a decade, but they're good deals. No, I mean, so I go. To, I go to closing. I go to closing and and you get paid two, to buy a house. I get paid $28,500 $28, to buy two houses. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I would call that a deal of a decade. You would? Well, I, I got deals of a lifetime that are better than that, but that's a pretty good deal. I, you know, I, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a pretty good deal. Well, I wouldn't complain about getting paid $28,000 to buy two houses. No, plus I also get positive cash flow totaling about $1,100, $1,200 on both those houses. What's one of the most fun things about being in the real estate business? You just never – people mm. are like, what keeps you so motivated, Phil? I'm like, what do you think? Money. <laughs> well, I do didn't even know about that. I actually like the game. Yeah, well, of course, of course. The whole game is, is fun. It's like playing Monopoly for real. Right. You roll the dice, you land on Park Place. What are you going to do? I don't know. I guess I'll buy it. Right, exactly. I mean, I have my thing where I, I, I my two favorite games when I was a kid were, were Monopoly and Payday. Do you ever play Payday when you were a kid? Uh, maybe. Oh, Payday, that's the game. So, so uh, you know, you know, they remember they had the game of life, that, that really stupid game, the game of life. Yeah, yeah, you you know, you got to choose. You go to college or not go to college. You had to do all kinds of things you didn't want to do, like go to college, yeah, get right. married, have kids. Right, and if you went to college, you had a chance of getting into the millionaire mansion. Well, obviously, that's the opposite of reality. And uh, and but payday, yeah. payday actually ha talks. You know, it's like um, it, it's a calendar, and every day something new happens, and you have to pay your bills, and you have to. Buy something and sell something. Actually, I think you'd really like it if you never played it. It was actually I probably it was, did. It was I probably one of my remember. favorite games. You know, it was, it was my favorite game. I don't know if I liked it better than Monopoly, but Monopoly was definitely a, a game that I learned a lot from. Well, Monopoly teaches you a lot about how to handle your money, how to make deals, mm -hmm. how to negotiate. Uh, you know, how to mortgage your properties, which is a yes, is exactly. a lesson that some real estate investors will usually learn in their lifetime. Yep. So realizing that you can, uh, you know, you can do different things with your properties. It's it's a, got a lot of good lessons in it, the game. It's also got a lot of things screwed up with it. Like, why do you have to go around the board once before you start buying? Why do you have to own the three that are matching colors before you start building? These are problems. Well, of, that's Monopoly. That's the idea of Monopoly. You own well, the corner. I wrote the Monopoly <laughs> man a letter about this. I'm still waiting for an answer from him. Well, you know, he's busy putting his top hat on. <laughs> That's the guy. All right, cool. All right, so what else do you want to talk about, Phil? We got so we got more questions and more topics and more exciting stuff. All right, so unless uh, you put up the small of the risk, right? It's tempting right? for me to say never oh, sell investment homes. What do you think? It's t I, I happen to like that idea. I don't really ever want to sell an investment home. I want to keep them forever. Well, I'm I agree. We're both uh, we're both in the stage of life where yeah. I don't think we're going to sell much more property. Yeah, I want to leave the problem of selling the houses to my kids. Yeah, or uh, you know, or just go out and acquire some more properties that you can be proud of, and and have people pay you rent for the rest of your life. Yeah, and the rent is what. Look, you know, you want to talk about quitting your job and not having to work anymore. That's it. Rent will cover your life. I mean, some people, some people have pensions. Phil and I, we don't have pensions. We we, we never worked for a company that had a pension, and because of that, we had to create our own pension, and we created our own pension through real estate. We get. I mean, I don't even know how much I. I actually looked it up, and I forgot what it was. But I get tens and tens and tens and tens and ten, tens of thousands of dollars every month in rent, and I don't even know how much it is. But I just keep collecting it, and I just keep paying. And I pay the mortgage. If they pay the mortgage, I have a whole lot of money left over, and eventually those mortgages will be paid off. In fact, uh, I have a plan to have half my properties paid off in five years. Good for you. Because I want to 
capture that money, that extra money. One of the uh, one of the things I often talk about is I own an office building in Huntington yeah. Valley. It's an executive suite center, and it has forty. Is that executive executive suites? Yes, yes. I heard a commercial about that a little while ago. Probably right on this radio. Yeah, show. it was on the radio show. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, this building, my mortgage payment there is like nine thousand five hundred dollars a month, and uh, I think in nine years it's going to be paid off. And so you know, often people say, "Well, I have a pension at my daytime job," and I'm like, "Yeah, well, my net worth, my income stream is going to go up one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year in nine years." Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And that's just from one property. Right. I own many properties. Right, exactly. So, that's awesome. You know, it just goes to show you the power of real estate. Yeah. Okay. I could continue to live off the rent money from that one building alone. And uh, with no mortgage on it, oh, it'll be a gravy train, right? Man, and, he, and here's another thing, right? So you have a property that's got some equity in it, right? And you need cash. Something happens. You need cash. You right. need $50,000 cash, right? Mm -hmm. So everybody's like, oh, I better sell one of my properties. No, you don't sell the properties. You borrow the 50000 off the property. Your tenant is paying for it anyway. And on, and also the 50000 this way is – is uh, is not taxable because it's a loan. It's not, it's not income. My dream is pretty simple. I just want to sit back and have a thousand people paying me rent. There you go. That's all. It's, that's not. It's actually a really nice dream. It's, a, it's an <laughs> achievable like dream. It no, really oh, is. It's, it's, it's absolutely achievable. Absolutely. So you would. So here. So here's the thing, right? So the less you put up, the smaller the risk. I saw that in mm -hmm. your in your in what you want to talk about today. What do you think of that? You know, I, I think it's true to a certain extent. It depends on if you, you know, personally signed for private money or, or hard money or whatever you did with a bank. I mean, yeah, there's always risk involved when you're buying a piece of real estate and you're signing your name to a loan, which most private lenders, most hard money lenders and banks are all going to ask you to personally guarantee it. But, you know, as long as you're uh, a smart individual, has experience, knowing how to manage properties, it's probably very, very little risk, right? But I do believe that the smaller amount of money that you personally put up yourself, it gives you a little bit of freedom in the event that something goes seriously wrong with the deal, and you need to be able to back out of that deal. And if you only had five grand into the deal, you could just say, you know something, yeah. I'm, I'm out. Sure, I right? agree. So I do believe that it's a true statement that the less you put up, the smaller the risk is for you. And if the smaller the risk is for you, then it's a safer deal for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, have, you ever, have you ever read The Banker's Code? Yes, a couple times. Great George book, right? Anton. Yeah, great book. I remember that yeah. I highly recommend to everyone listening. So one of the things about the, banker code, the Banker's Code is they talk about how the bank puts the risk to the borrower. They move the risk to the borrower by having them either put more money up or having, or having them you know, only lend on certain equity or certain amount of equity. It's actually a really good book. It talks about being a private lender or being a bank, basically, and how you can and how you can safely lend someone money, and that's where it actually says put more money up. So that's why banks are looking for twenty or thirty percent because there's no risk to them. If they take twenty or thirty percent of your money, you buy the property and you default, they get the property and you've already put the twenty or thirty percent up in that property. They have no risk. Yeah, it's a really simple, easy book to read too. It's kind yes. of kind of book you can read like in couple of hours yeah it's, it's actually it's one of my favorite uh, get rich books well the laying out the concept for what bankers do and people say well i don't want to be a banker i know you don't want to be a banker right but whenever you drive into a city anywhere in the united states usually the biggest skyscraper <laughs> is a bank okay right where in sarasota where i live uh a couple of months a year I usually go down there in the winter. Uh, if you want to know what the heck I'm doing up here now, I'm asking myself that too. What am I doing up here? <laughs> I should be down there. Yeah. But uh, when you drive into downtown Sarasota, which is where my home is in the wintertime, beautiful mirror glass building, very tall skyscraper, and it's a Chase Bank. Yeah. There you go. So, you know, people don't understand too. When you deposit money into a bank, Let's say you get a CD, you know they're paying you I don't know whatever one and a half percent interest, right? That's you need to understand that they they're borrowing your money. You're not depositing money in the bank. They don't take your money. They don't take your money and put it into an account 
and then and then pay you interest off that money. They borrow your money and then lend it out to somebody else at a higher rate. So, for example, if it's even if it's just a mortgage at four percent, they'll lend that money out. You they're paying you one and a half percent, but they're lending it out at four percent. So understand that every time you put money in the bank, you're lending the bank money. You're not depositing money and you're not investing money in the bank. Once you start to understand that, you start to understand why they give out those lollipops. You know what the lollipops are called? What? They're called dum dums. You ever see them? The dum dum uh, yeah, lollipops. Okay, sure. The Wells Fargo mm-hmm. gives out the dum dums because if you put your money in the bank, you're you, they're they're actually telling you what you are. So, with that being said, why don't we buy a bank? I'm 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 thinking about it. <laughs> we actually could. There's just a lot of regulations, and you know how much I love the government. Yeah, we got a friend who owns a bank. Yeah, and we're actually working on it right now. So 855-939-1137, 855-939-1137. If you have any questions about real estate, stock market, uh, being the bank, lending money, borrowing money, all of those are here, 855-939-1137. You know, we have a lot of students who actually learned how to become money lenders, and they're doing really well with that. Yeah, we have several of them, and they've uh, they just popped out of the woodwork. Yeah, it's kind of neat, actually. It's kind of a really neat place came, to came, be. Came up in a conversation, you know, is some of our classes. We talk about how to raise private money, how to go out and borrow it off of people. And uh, some of our students are like, hmm, I should do that. Absolutely. Hmm. They can lend that in their IRA, too. Sure, and if you do it out of your IRA, boy, it's one way to get rich quick. Yeah. You put you you take the money from your IRA and you don't you're not moving it out of your IRA. It's still in an IRA. It's called a self directed IRA. It's still in your IRA. It still has all the same tax benefits of an IRA. And your IRA literally lends somebody money and that person pays you back. A lot of people don't know that a self directed IRA even exists. They, oh, I know. They just crazy. do it through their job and somebody manages their money usually poorly and they get a you know a a five percent return. Mm-hmm. And I mean. I don't want to knock somebody if that's what you do for a living and you're and you're making five percent on your money every year and you're happy with it. But uh, when you come to investor school and you learn real quick, I mean, sometimes we make thirty five percent in a day. Yeah, and the cool part too is what we're teaching. We're teaching you money. We're teaching you everything about money. We're teaching you financial literacy. So we're not just teaching you real estate. We're not just teaching you stock options trading. We're teaching you how money really works. We teach. We did a two hour session one day on on uh, retirement programs, and there are retirement programs that most people have never even heard of, like HSAs, and how to use an HSA as a retirement program and not use it for what it's intended for, use it to put money away. It's, it's an awesome way to put money. And don't even spend it. And actually, the key was don't use it for your, for your health. Use it for just let it sit there and let it grow and let it grow and let it grow. My HSA is invested in stock options. Isn't that cool? Yep. So uh, my uh, my um, retirement plan also invests in yep. stock options. Absolutely, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. So this year I've uh, like quadrupled the size of my I account. I saw that. That's pretty good, man. And uh, it's it's nice to have all this money in there that pretty much uh, came in very small fractions out of a paycheck. Yeah, exactly. Right, and I just uh, because of my uh, uh, knowledge of stock options was able to multiply it. Yeah. Hey, if you want to call us at 855-939-1137, feel free to, 855-939-1137. Let's go ahead and hit a commercial, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about some stock options picks. All right, let's do it. Hi, I'm Phil Falcone from Investorschooling.com. I'm inviting you to a complimentary class in Langhorn this Thursday night at 7 p.m. I will teach you how to buy ugly houses and make them beautiful. As a bonus, we will also teach you stock option investing. So get your butt to this meeting, 7 p.m. this Thursday night, Langhorn, 215-876-3002, investorschooling.com. Hey, everybody, it's Larry Sinus from investorschooling.com. You heard my partner, Phil Falcone, tell you why you should be there this Thursday night to learn about real estate investing and learn about stock options trading. We're telling you right now, you will make more money than you've ever made in your entire life if you learn these two skills. Be there this Thursday night at 7 o'clock in our Langhorn headquarters. Go to InvestorSchooling.com. Pull over right now. Take out your phone and go to InvestorSchooling.com. RSVP right now. InvestorSchooling.com. See you Thursday. I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. I got a question for you. What do you get for $4.95 a month at Executech Suites? 
You get an office big enough for one person. You get the furniture in that office. You get the telephone on the desk. You get the telephone number. You get the fax number. You get the internet. You get two full-time receptionists to answer the phone in the name of your company and patch the calls to you, whether you're in the office, in your car, or at home sleeping on a couch. You get the conference rooms, you get the mailboxes, you get the printer, the copy, the scanner, you get the janitorial service, the utilities, and free coffee. I know it's hard to believe that you could get all those things for $495 a month, but it's true. 67 Buck Road in Huntington Valley, Executech Suites. Give us a call, 215-942-7701, 215-942-7701. Hey everybody, it's Larry Sinus from InvestorSchooling.com. And I'm Phil Falcone from InvestorSchooling.com. Hey, what are we going to teach him this Thursday night, Phil? We're going to teach you how to invest in real estate so you can build a basis to get rich. And I promise I'm going to teach you stock options. So go to InvestorSchooling.com and RSVP right now. Right, Phil? We've been in this business for 30 years. We have amazing amounts of information to share with you. Get your butt to this meeting this Thursday night in Langhorn. InvestorSchooling.com. Welcome back. Welcome back to Investor Schooling Live. Hey, give us a call, 855-939-1137, 855-939-1137, and we will answer your questions about real estate, about the stock market, about anything that has to do with money, 855-939-1137. What's up, Phil? Well, let's get into the uh, last question, and which goes with stock option picks anyway. Is, okay. Is this a good time to invest in stock options, and what are your stock option picks of the week? Well, so we're going to go there anyway, right? Yeah, we're going there anyway. So it's an awesome time to invest in stock. As a matter of fact, always is an awesome time to invest in stock options. Because there's just, uh, thousands of stock options available to you, and right. there's always going to be one that you can make a play on. Right, exactly. There's either puts or calls. There's going to, stock market goes up, stock market goes down. You can always make money. It's just really a matter of finding what you're looking for in, uh, in, you know, in, in, in the stock. And we're gonna and we help you find that. As a matter of fact, the stock option consultant comes out every Thursday night. <coughs> every Thursday night, the stock option consultant comes out and talks about what are the stock picks. And as a matter of fact, his music sounds something like this. Stock option consultant. <laughs> guys will get a kick out of that if you ever come and see the stock option sultan you will get a kick out of it M most people will see it for the first time what, what's their expression like phil oh they kind of look like somebody who dropped acid <laughs> are you talking about me or are you talking about them i'm talking about them they have a funny look on their face like what the heck you know when you bring out that snake and everything you know it gets a little yeah, right. weird you know <laughs> and the smoke and the whole bit. Yeah, yeah. This, right. The, the whole smoke. Right. Yeah. 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 It's actually, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You have to see it. It's actually hysterical. Put it this way: little kids will be scared. <laughs> no, they won't. It's not that bad. Okay. You guys ready for my for absolute biggest pick that I've got? And unfortunately, it didn't drop down. So we're gonna have to get in at, at a higher number that I'd like to get in. Apple. Apple is the play. You got to get an apple, and you got hopefully, 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 hopefully we'll get lucky. It'll drop three or four points tomorrow. We'll be below 130, but I'm going to tell you right now, just get it anyway. It's a great stock options pick. I would play it out to uh, June if possible, only because it's high. It's at 131, 132 right now, and I don't like buying it at these numbers because it's at a high and I really don't like buying it at these numbers, but it's going to fly. And it's going to fly because, and I think I mentioned it last week, it's going to fly because of Tesla. Uh, the same, you know, what, what just happened to Tesla was Tesla's back in the sixes. It's probably going to make its way back into the eights and nines again. Um, I'm not a fan of Tesla. I, I'm not a fan of any reason for Tesla. I mean, first of all, the stock price is ridiculously high. It's a total speculation play. But that's cool. But Apple so seemed to ride with Tesla last time. So I believe it'll ride with Tesla again, and I believe – we're going to see Apple in the 150s, 160s, 170s in the spring. So if the funny part is you're saying Apple's going to ride with Tesla. Right. Tesla hardly makes any money. Apple's the most profitable company in the uh, history of man. Right. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not ride. It's I, not, I know what you meant. Right. It, and it's not ride because of profitability. It's ride because of traders. You know, the people who are trading. So first of all, the, the crazy thing now is we have all these amateur traders now. This has become a crazy business. I mean, when I started doing this. You know, when I mentioned stock options, nobody knew what I was talking about. 
Now all of a sudden, you imagine Sox says, "Oh yeah, yeah, I'll have Robin Hood. I do this and I blah 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 blah." I'm like, "Really? You do it?" And you know, so what's happening now is it's getting ridiculous. So there's a bunch of uh, really professional traders out there, like myself and some of the other fund managers, who are actually making money off of the amateurs because the amateurs are jumping in and they're buying things like Tesla and riding it up to six or seven hundred dollars. So let let them do it, and then the, then the, the um, the professionals ride that money. They know when to pull out, and they let and they leave the bag. They leave the the amateurs with the bag. And look, you, I don't really care. That's not my thing. Stock options happens to be a zero sum game. Just someone's going to lose and someone's going to make money. Just be the one making money every time. And I got to be honest with you, I'm not the one making money every time. Sometimes I lose money. I've had a couple of really bad days uh, in the last month. I've had some really bad days in the last month, but I'm still way ahead for the year. It's amazing how much I'm ahead for the year. So that's why I think Apple's going to go because Apple's going to ride just the way Tesla did. So, you know, it's unfortunately, I feel unfortunate because we got to go in blind in Apple because it's not really where I'd like it to be. I would have liked it to be in the low 120s or, or below 120. But unfortunately, we have to jump in and take it and ride it and just close your eyes because you may hit a bump here or there. Uh, I'm going to expect a bump in February. I'm going to expect a big bump in February. What where, do you think is going on with Facebook right now? Uh, Facebook should definitely be going up too. Facebook, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, Facebook, here's what's happening with Facebook. You've got, you've got all these other social media companies that are coming out now. And you know, and you got you've got the conservatives who move it over to parlor, and you got the whatever, some this and that, and the other thing, and blah blah blah. But there's no, there's nothing like Facebook. I mean, you know, I joined parlor, and I went on it for a day, and I can't even stand it. I can't even follow it. I hate it worse than I hate Twitter. I can't deal with it. So it's just, and you know, it's, it's the same twenty people posting the same twenty things on parlor all the time. I just, I don't want to see that. I want to see different things. I, every once in a while, I want to see a cat picture. You know, I don't want to just see you know a, a, a Q conspiracy thing. On parlor, I mean, who cares? You know, yeah, so I didn't know you were a cat picture guy. I, I'm not, but every once in a while, it's nice to see a cat picture. That's you know, I mean, you go to my posts and they're all they're they're all investor schooling, making money, or political. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and so every once in a while, I got to throw a picture of my dog <laughs> Oliver out there just to break it up. So I like Facebook. It's a 267 now. Um, Anything below 265 is a buy. Even 267 is not a bad buy. If it happens to go to 250 or below, dive all over it. And also, same thing right into spring. Um, I added some. I added some Facebook the other day at 265, and I'm going to add some more if it goes down a little bit more. If it goes to 250, I'm, I'm going to add some more because I think it's actually a beautiful place to be for Facebook. But you got to ride it into the spring. Minimum March. Minimum March. So Tony's a. Uh, Tony's listening to me, and he said masks don't work on Facebook. Hmm. I'm you know, glad he told you that. I wonder where you got that from. <laughs> so, right. you got anything else? So, I got. Let's see what else is out there right now. So, Nicola. Ugh, ugh, the more I, the more I get into Nicola, the more, the more scared I get. So, I was buying Nicola. I bought it at twenty two. I bought it at seventeen. It's now fourteen. Now, fifteen was what I thought would be the bottom. So I'm really nervous about it right now. I don't like it anymore, but I'm stuck in it. I'm out to April, and I'm kind of hoping it'll recover. Um, I'm really just looking for Nikola to 25. That's all I really need. And the problem with Nikola is it just keeps getting bad news after bad news after bad news. Well, you know, the, the initial news when, when GM uh, decided not to do business with them, that was a pretty outrageous piece of news. Yeah, it was okay. actually they didn't decide that they changed the deal. They're still doing a little bit of business with them, but they changed the deal. Right, so, I, I I don't know. Maybe you got in a little early, that's all. Yeah, I definitely got a little early, but at the same time, I'm a little worried because it broke through that 15. And because it broke through that 15, that's got me worried. So now I've got to hang on there and see what happens. You know, 15 was my was where I thought it would go. Let's see, actually, actually it looks like the next – actually, yeah, the, the next stop – unfortunately, the next stop is about 11 and a half. And then it's just going to be wherever it goes. It's either going to go. It's either going to. It's either going to tank, uh, and go to pennies eventually, or it's going to become great. So pretty much the announcements that Nikola makes are going to be what's going to determine whether it's going to be a good stock or not. And I have a funny feeling it's not. I have just have a bad feeling about it is what I have to say. But I'm in it. There's nothing I can do. I'm in it. Mm -hmm. I did sell some covered calls on it, which I made sixteen thousand dollars on selling the covered calls. And there's no chance of the stock being taken away. So that's a good thing. But I do have some options. I have quite a few options on it right now, and I'm looking for 25 to get out. Anything that you want me to look at, Phil? 
No, I'm pretty good at this point. All right, cool. What about that stock you were talking about, uh, that stock option you were talking about on Monday night for a while? Which one? Oh, AIV. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting one, yeah. So AIV was was it's Department of Investors and Management Company. So this is an interesting one because I am I think this is it. This is crazy. So this, so Tesla is replaced AIV on the on the S and P five hundred. So AIV was booted off the five S and P five hundred. It also broke into two different companies, which is kind of interesting too. But first of all, Department of Investing just just the fact that Department of Investing we know that we know that the money we know that the the um, we know that the market's going to go up. We know that that Rents are going to go up, so it's going to be. It's a REIT, by the way. If you didn't realize, it's a REIT. It's a real estate investment trust. It's great. It's got a great dividend. I'm not sure if it's a dividend that it says online, but it's got a great dividend. I just think it's a great company, AIV. And if you want to invest in it, you can invest in it. It's only five bucks right now. Matter of fact, I jumped in at four seventy five. I bought some of the stock, and I, I didn't buy any stock options. I bought the stock only so far, but I think it's a great play. I think it actually could. I, I actually think it's a great stock, not a stock option. I agree. But a well, great stock. Anything that's that cheap, you might as well just buy it. Right, exactly. What's the difference? Yeah, I mean, you could buy the stock option. You could buy the 250 <laughs> stock option for like 260 or something. Yeah, so half the price with the time constraints or right. just pay for it 100% right. and own it for as long as you want. Yeah, so with I very kinda, little pressure. Yeah. So I like it. So if you guys are looking at it, AIV is a kind of a neat. It's a neat stock to own. It may be something that's gonna that's gonna run. I think you know. I think if it hits seven, I'm gonna sell it and get out and just take you know take that profit. It's a good. It'll be a good profit for me. All right. What else we want to talk about? Let's talk about getting rich. Okay. What are you planning on teaching uh, in the first week of January? When we come back? Yeah, on January seventh. I have no idea. You have no idea. No, I really don't. You don't have anything special you've been working no, on? No, I, I. You got it's uh, you know it's uh, we got two weeks for me to think about it. <laughs> I, I'm sure it'll have something to do with stock options. Okay. <laughs> By the way, if you if you guys want to call in 855-939-1137, we still got five more minutes. 855-939-1137. Oh, boy. Check it out. Yeah, right. so I'll tell you what I'm working on. I do have a small mobile home park that I got under contract in Florida. I uh, I also have I'm working on this eight hundred thousand dollar deal I told you about. I'm working on that. Um, I'm still doing uh, a lot of cold calling down there, trying to feel my way through what I want to do next. So I see Florida being the place I want to be. So I think we're having trouble with calls. So I'm getting I'm getting uh, messages that saying people are calling the uh, the. Um, uh, you know the the hotline, the number, and it's just not going through to us. So that, it is what it is. So I apologize for you guys out there. I know, I know one of our students is trying to call because I keep getting tagged that he's trying to call, but that's life. I'm sorry, guys. So somehow it didn't work today. Those things happen. Oh yeah, it's still going to my cell phone for some reason. Okay, let's fix that. Let's see if we can actually get this guy in here real quick. Huh? Who's on the line? So it was one of our students who's been trying to reach us. Hey, Cole, call in again. My apologies, man. Somehow the uh, the 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 transfer, the phone transfer didn't take the last time I did it. So 855-939-1137, 855-939-1137. And you can call back and you can get, actually, you'll actually get us this time if there's any more time. You'll actually get us this time. Yeah. I keep seeing my cell phone light up. And right, like, in the meantime, going I'm going to let you know about the other radio shows that we're on All during right. the week. So, of course, we're on the great 1210 AM WPHT. We're on uh, Sundays live at 3 p.m., Saturdays at 2 p.m. And we are also on 92.1 WVLT FM, Sundays at 4 p.m. They're in Vineland, New Jersey, South Jersey area. 860 WWDBAM, the great Sam Spicer manages that station. We're on there Monday at 2 p.m. and Saturday at 2 p.m. in Philadelphia. We're also on 1450 WCTCAM, that's a Central Jersey station. And we're also on 1250 WMTRAM, Saturdays 11 in North Jersey and Central Jersey. All those stations all at once? All those stations all at once. I think that's awesome. While we're still waiting for this call, I'm going to thank our producer, John Cole, for helping us out today. 
If you're interested in becoming a sponsor on our show, email us. Info at investorschooling.com. Info at investorschooling.com. Or you can just call the number we give out all the time, 855-939-1137. We would love to talk to you about being a sponsor on this show. If you're in a business where your clients are real estate investors or realtors, guess what? We have lots of, both of those, okay? So it's definitely some possibilities for you to make some nice money on being an advertiser on our show. I like the idea a lot. I don't think we're going to get the call on time. My apologies to the couple of people who were calling. I see the phone, like I saw the phone light up, but uh, for some reason the transfer didn't work. So it is what it is. But if you guys call during the week, you're going to get me. I'll be able to answer your call and ask you any questions. And uh, you have about one minute, 855 939 1137. It's up to you. Wow. I'm pretty excited, man. January 7th at 7 p.m. is the next class. Is our next class. Get your butt to that class. And go to investorschooling.com to sign up for it. Larry's going to have two weeks to figure out what he's going to talk about. Yeah, I'm so going to talk about something that has to do with money. Something that has to do with money is <laughs> what Larry always talks about. Hey, did you see silver and gold prices? They're moving up nice. Uh, I don't pay that much attention to them. No, I like silver and gold prices. I'm watching that. I think it's good. I think it's good to save silver and gold for such emergencies as, you know, the end of the world. I can, have, I can make silver bullets and I can kill werewolves. No, that's a good thing. Yeah. No, huh? <laughs> Phil, Phil Phil's like lack of energy today. I could see it. He's like, you must have a really good, you must have had a really good Christmas or something because you're definitely lack of energy today. I don't think I lack energy. I'm, uh, you know, the reason for me maybe being different. <laughs> are, you, are you going through that? Are you going through that time of time of the, time of the month? Yeah, sure. Okay, that's yeah. it. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. All right, guys. I think uh, what do we got? We got like uh, thirty seconds or something, right? No, it looks like yeah, you got about thirty seconds. You want to talk about anything? I don't know, man. I want to talk about getting rich. How about the investor brokerage? If you're you a go. realtor, you wanna you wanna hang your license with us at the investor brokerage for a hundred percent commission? How would you like that? That's right. We pay a hundred percent commission. We we hardly even make any money off the brokerage. It's just a tool in the toolbox, you know, having an agency where uh, our students can become an agent and make a keep a bunch of their money. So imagine if you had a property that you sold, you get a $10,000 check coming to you, you get to keep that whole $10,000. Nobody else does that for you, okay? Nobody else does that for you. Investor Brokerage, come to our school. Investor Schooling, 7 p.m., January 7th. Get your butt to that meeting. We'll see you then. Take care, everybody.